Hi, hi. Hello, everyone. Welcome yum, yum. to our Mother Day's gift guide episode. It's the holidays. <laughs> it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I know. I was thinking, like, I don't know if we're allowed to sing any Christmas songs. Like, are we licensed for that? Because I really wanted to be like singing. Are they freebies? I don't have any. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like some of them are. I actually have no idea. Jingle we bells. can sing whatever we want to sing. <laughs> we can make Santa up our own. Claus is coming. It's a town. It's a town. Oh, um, so yeah. good. I'm going to shut my door. Do you hear all those children in the background? Five of them. I do. There's a lot of them. And probably your husband's making noise too. So. <laughs> I know. I was like, I just, just before we started recording, I was like, hey, babe, um, if you don't mind just bringing my burger up here, I'm just going to eat it on the show. <laughs> and silence. Like no one's brought me my burger. I'm like, is it just sitting down there getting really cold? Actually, the way that you said it was, um, hey, and it's fine if anyone wants to bring my burger up. That's great. I'll just <laughs> eat it while. <well>. Passive aggressive. <laughs> it was so great. I was like, cracking it. I'm the queen. I'm the queen of that. All right. One second, I'm going to shut the door, but also yell out about my burger. One second. Okay, great. <laughs> Mommy's hungry up here if anyone wants to bring <laughs> She's starving. Oh, God. I'm so hungry. I just flew in from Australia today. Oh, my gosh. You guys, Teresa has flown in today from Australia. She's had the craziest last 10 days, mm-hmm. um, if not more. And uh, we were actually going to be recording this episode with Jenny Mullen, who we both love and adore. Love. But we had to record it in part. So I actually interviewed and talked g- gift guide stuff with Jenny. And then Teresa and I are both going to talk gift guide stuff as well. We could not figure out the time difference because Jenny is on the East Coast. Yes. And I was in Australia. So yep. my morning was her nighttime, like right in the thick of putting kids to bed. I was like, I don't know how anybody works like, you know, long distance from the East Coast to Australia. It just doesn't. I don't know how that works. It doesn't, it doesn't compute. just doesn't. Okay, so let's go to um, our interview with Jenny right now, and we're going to listen to all of her gift guides and a little bit more about her and her family, and um, and then we will get back to our gift guides in a few minutes. Woo-hoo! We love Jenny. Today, I have somebody super special on here with me, everybody, Jenny Mullen. And do you go by Jenny Mullen Biggs or Jenny Mullen? I really just go by Jenny Mullen, much to Jason's chagrin. And I like him to go by Jason (laughs) Mullen as often as possible. I actually have him in my phone as Jason Mullen, and I have you in my phone as as Jenny Mullen Biggs. So I'm (laughs) going to change that. I love it. So I am so excited to have you on here today. You are one of my favorite people. I swear I watch your stories like they're my own personal like evening TV show. Like I just go through oh my God, I love all you. your skin stuff. I mean, the other day you did this crazy um, thing where you said you were going to get your face stamped and then you went to like uh, some event afterwards yes. and then you were like showing all the. By the way, I got that done one time and I swear I thought my face was never going to look the same again. I know it's scary the first time you do it because you're just like, holy fuck, like, did I just like really burn my face off? Yes. <laughs> it, what, what, so what is it exactly? Because it looked like little, like when you went really up close, yes. I could see it like looks like these little stamps, right? I still have it. It's like, fra- there's like, you know, it's just like kind of like almost like little burns, but it's like a fractal laser <laughs> that goes over your whole face and you start to peel off your lizard person for a few days. And then you're fine. Oh my gosh. And then you have a baby's face again. You're you have like baby. Then you have a baby face. Oh, okay. So the guy told me definitely it's gonna be like two days. I had an event like on day three, and he was like, You'll be perfect by day three. And I was like, fuck that. No. Day two, I was such a hot mess. And I had to go to this woman to help like bring my skin back to life so that I could go to this event that I was I was like, this was not good for me. To exfoliate you or something. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's scary. yeah. It was not, yeah, it was not good. Not good. <laughs> it's the holiday season, yes. and we're we're getting all the things ready. Yes. I've got nothing ready. Are you like a prepper or no? But if something appeals to me on Instagram, like if somebody just like 
you know, uh, an ad targets me, I usually end up buying it. I know. I buy all the ads. I'm like the target targeted person. They're after me. Me too. I- have you seen these new tights that have fleece on the inside? What? No. I- <laughs> but it looks like a leg. So it's like skin colored <laughs> fleece. I, may- I sent it to my mom yesterday. I was like, will you buy these and tell me if I need them? It's literally no. looks like an opaque, not an opaque, what's like a sheer, a sheer tight where you could see okay. <laughs> maybe skin through it, but it's not skin. It's actually fleece. So it looks like you're tan and you have tan legs. I don't know. They look amazing. They're sort of like leggings. Um, yes. So I'm after those. They, they've been targeting me a bunch. <laughs> I just bought spin some sort of like fucking printer that a 3d printer a kid 3d printer wait what they have those for aren't those things like crazy? those are crazy no, they have a 3d it, printer for kids yeah and they're not that it, they're i mean they're not like thousands of dollars they're i don't know they're less than some sort of nintendo thing so i thought that that would be a productive sort of fun gift because he's at that age where he's over toys but he doesn't really know what money is <laughs> So yeah. it's like, I don't know what to get him. And he's not getting a fucking iPhone, which is the only thing in life he actually wants. Oh, my gosh. So 3D printer, I decided, was a good move. Okay. So I want to ask you about that because I just ran into this um, friend of mine the other day. And her son, because Sid is how old? He's probably like Esme's age. How old is he? Eight. Who's eight. Okay. So he's older than Esme. Um, so she has a, my friend had a son, he's like a couple years older than our kids, okay. but he came out and he had this phone in his hand and he handed it to his mom and she said, yeah, it's called a GABA. I don't know. There's like something to where they can just, when they go, if they have like drum practice or okay. they have like something, they can take this phone and just text you and receive messages. Like if they need you, then they have a way to, uh, to correspond, but it's not um, something that has like social media or anything on it. It looks like an iPhone though. Have you heard of this? No, but I'm going to buy one when we hang up. <laughs> you sold me. I'm sold. <laughs> I think it's called GABA. Like a Yo GABA GABA situation? Yo GABA GABA. I think it has nothing to do with that. No. Okay. So <laughs> Don't we have kids the same age? Because I have a photo of us all having a baby attached to us. Yes. Yeah, I have a nine-year-old, a six-year-old, and a two-year-old. Okay. Wait, when did your nine-year-old turn nine? In August. Oh, so, okay. And then Sid will be nine in February. So that was the baby in the photos. Yes. Okay, so yeah. because it's me, Kat, Koi Rao, it was oh, you, yeah. it was Taz. That's such a cute picture. Yes. Okay. We all had babies on us. Definitely going to have to put that picture up we for post that. this episode. I love it. <laughs> Um, yeah. So I feel like our kids would be into similar things. Like why it's really into architecture and he loves, um, like he loves to read, but he loves like to figure out how things work. So I love this idea of the 3d printer for kids because he, he, that would blow his mind. Oh, I mean, I watched them do the demo. Who knows what it's like in person, but I was sold. I'm like, I think I want one of these. Yeah. (laughs) You'll have to tell me when it's like. I mean, Eric was telling me this morning that when he was a kid, his parents, so his mom and dad are Norwegian. And I mean, I think they're like second or th- I don't know how far removed. It's like they're great. His like great grandparents were from Norway and came over. Okay. And so um, but they're both Norwegian and he's like 89 percent Norwegian or something <gasps> crazy. We did like the no way. So he's like, yeah, very Norwegian. Can he get a citizenship? <laughs> I mean, he should. I don't I don't know. We need to look into that. I'm all about getting European citizenship because I feel like a civil war is coming and I need to be yeah, able that's... to get out. I don't want to get stuck here again. <laughs> I know. Me neither. No. Um, who, who will take us? What country? <laughs> what country will take us? I'm literally in the process of tracing back my origins mm. to see if anybody... If there's a way through. Yeah, that's really smart. I mean, aren't you like part German? Don't I didn't aren't you? Or you speak German? I speak German and I have a German grandmother, but we can't figure out where she was born. And that's an issue. <laughs> it's so weird. You go like two generations back and they're like, I yeah. asked my dad, I said, Did your dad what do you mean your dad never mentioned his mother to you ever? And he's like, No. Not not a clue. And you don't even know what her mother's name her mother's name was? Like, no. Yeah. No, that's the same on my mom ancestry.com or like 23 me that's such a great gift to give your family they should really sponsor this episode i know they really should (laughs) 
we're selling them hard. But no, but literally the fact that you don't even know their names, it's like people didn't even have names that mattered. Like yeah. nobody has any recollection. We just you, moved yeah, on. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> Like, what is that? I don't know names. I have no idea where anyone's from. My mom was like, well, so-and-so grew up in Florida. And I was like, uh, okay, but where did they come in from before Florida? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> What did it say when you did your blood? So mine said that I was like 14% Norwegian and then um, English, German, uh -huh. um, and then there was something else weird. Oh, French, like like middle of Europe. I was just a yes. mutt of, of yeah. a bunch of different things. Nothing was like strongly want. Yeah, not, nothing where I could put my finger on it and be like, that's where I'm from. Oh like I God. would go to any one of those countries and they would be like, no, you, you don't, don't have enough of us in yeah. you. <laughs> we don't see it. <laughs> yeah, we don't see it. You look very, very American. <laughs> you look like you're from Florida. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Anyway, but Eric That's said so that when funny. he was a kid, his mom gave up on getting gifts for them because every year it was like two boys. They were 18 months apart. And she'd ask them, you know, what do you guys want for Christmas? And the boys would be like, yeah, we they were good. Like, we don't need anything. Right. And they yes. were pretty young still at this place. So she just started buying them animals like <gasps> um, for for families in other countries. And then so she would come in and she would have all these papers wrapped up in um, stockings. <gasps> and it would be like, you have a goat named after you that's in this country. Or you have five chickens that went to a family. And <laughs> and they're no. They're all named Eric. <laughs> yes. They're all named Eric. Wait, so they never, the animals didn't like arrive on Christmas morning. No, 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 no. So she would just have like clippings She's from smart. a magazine where she had like bought, purchased them for families in other countries for like food or for their farm. And oh so she God. was very, she's very charitable. She's a chaplain. And so she'd be like, okay, this is what, you know, I got for you. And so Eric always thought that all these animals actually were named after him. So he just thought that there was just like animals running around all over these places. Oh my God. <laughs> named Eric Christian Olsen. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. Oh, that's so funny. Jason once it's... went on um like a shark. I I well, I was all I, it was I was sort of like just coming off of doing ayahuasca, and I thought it'd be a great <laughs> idea to like go diving with great white sharks. I was with Chelsea Handler, so like my decision oh my making gosh. wasn't you know maybe the most sane. We're in uh -huh. the car <laughs> coming back from the airport, and we're like, yes, let's go swimming with great white sharks. So oh my god, fucking signed up for this venture and maybe like a week later I kind of came to and was like I'm not fucking gonna go swim with great white sharks <laughs> and then I really I I was really out Chelsea's like you're I can't believe you're pulling out on this like you suck I thought you were gonna do it and the, <laughs> and then well, all I had to hear was they said the food on board the ship will be comfort food and I'm like I'm fucking not going Dying. on that boat there's no <laughs> way and she was so pissed then so I sent Jason and his friend. And when he got there, uh -uh. Chelsea also sent somebody else. So they go no. on the boat and they were like in the, where is it? The, not the Galapagos. It was called in Gua, Gua Jason, <laughs> what are the islands where you saw the sharks? <laughs> in Guadalupe Islands. And he named a great white shark. It's in the books. Sid Biggs. Uh -uh. So there is truly a great white named Sid Biggs somewhere. <gasps> I hope that he doesn't so attack cute. because it would just be a bad luck. <laughs> that lady in, uh, in Australia was bitten by a <laughs> shark by named Sid Biggs. Sid Biggs. <laughs> yeah, he's been tagged. So that was the only good thing to come out of the trip. Wait, so did he give that to him for Christmas <laughs> or for Hanukkah? No, Sid was only, I think Sid was literally, I mean, this is what was so crazy. I think Sid wasn't even, Sid was not even two years old yet. So Aww. that was when I could still get away with not really giving gifts yeah I know I, it's funny I what kind of it like because the kind of gift giver I am I'm always trying to find something really thoughtful for people and so I'm like okay like spend time on it yeah. try to find something handmade you know for like my kids or like something cute yes. and then um and then I had some friends coming in town and they were you know I always ask them like oh what was in your stockings when you were a kid and so then you know eric and his brother and everybody were like oh we had oranges and like <laughs> little candy bars and so like i filled stockings with oranges and candy bars but oh, my no. favorite gift to give people yes 
is socks. I always got socks for Christmas when I was a kid and I loved it because you can never find your socks, right? Yeah, never. And then they end up getting holes in them and they're yes. very practical, but I love putting socks in people's stockings. So what kind of socks do you go for? What do you which what are we talking? Bombas are great sock. That's a great sock. Um but yeah, I get like a cotton sock, something cute. My kids last year got ET socks. That's fun. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I love that. From, um, what is that company called? Pair of Thieves or something? They make, oh, yes. they make these like cute little, you know, socks with like little features on them or whatever. I think that's Jessica Alba's husband who does Pair really? of Thieves. Really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, I think those socks are great. Yeah, they have cute little styles. And happy socks are cute. Mm, mm-hmm. Is that brand happy socks? I love a happy sock. Is it a problem that my mother wears socks that say like, I think they say like, I don't know, motherfucker on them or something. And then it comes to watch (laughs) my kids. And I'm like, these are mildly inappropriate. My son can read now. Those from the D, the, the denim, the denim company mother. Is that what those are from? Yes, exactly. Oh my gosh. She thinks she's a badass in them. (laughs) She feels good when she puts those on in the morning. She's like, oh yeah, I nailed this. I found me on the socks. (laughs) Great. Do you guys celebrate all the holidays? Do you celebrate Hanukkah, Christmas, all the things? How do you guys do it? We do like an abridged Hanukkah and then we usually are in Austria over the holiday. So then we'll do like- that's nice. We'll do Christmas there. And then we open our gifts usually when we come back. That's been the last couple of years. Oh, that's cute. So so Santa leaves your presents when yes. you so we have when Santa you, oh. involved. And we have elves that watch over them throughout December, which is a Oh, do you have the elves, the elves on a shelf? Yes. Oh, I love that. But somebody got me in and I can't get out. It's too I know. Late. I'm actually I'm in too. I totally signed up. I yes. called Santa. I said I need the elves. You gotta send them here. This year my daughter turns is turning no, she just turned two. So she's getting her first elf. So she's really excited. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, it's gonna be a big one for her. Oh, so each kid has an elf? Each kid has an elf, yeah. Okay, that's nice. Our <laughs> elves like have a storyline where like last year at the very last day, a new elf yes. appeared on the scene. So now things are getting oh. it's a love triangle. Okay. I need to know like what do the elves do? Like what kind of mischief or mayhem do they make in your home oh my god i mean they do everything they're in the they're in the the fridge they're in the oven they're like (laughs) you know like i don't know snorting lines of like sugar (laughs) off the countertops they really go crazy (laughs) they hang from the ceiling sometimes they hide in other rooms it's mayhem. But when, wait, when they're... They tie each other up. <laughs> they tie each other up. They tie each other wait, up. I do feel like I saw this on your Instagram one year. Yeah. That they one of them was tied up. And I was like, that is a really... It that's That's a naughty elf. <laughs> they get they get attacked by, actually, shark. there was a shark attack one year. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. So did, we, did we lose any limbs or... Well, you know, it's like a soap opera where it's like you might have lost a limb, but then it grows back like the next episode. <laughs> Oh, my God. So if it's in the oven, this is the part that um, is a little confusing for me because then I'm like when they show up in a place that I need to do stuff, like, oh yes. what do you do with well, the fact that they're are we ordering in that night? Like, what's happening? Parents are allowed to touch them, right? Oh, I didn't know that. Parents can touch them. Just kids can't touch them. So like Sid will call me over and be like, can you move him? Because I really need to get back to my crayons. Got it. Maybe okay. He was like tagging something, you know, and took all the crayons. Okay. Cause I actually grabbed, um, what are those things called? Like tongs from the to kitchen? Move him? Yeah. I grabbed tongs to move the elves one time because oh. Wyatt was like, oh, this is really in a bad place. Like, I really just do it. And I was like, oh, that's great. I don't need to touch it, but I can <laughs> use the tongs. Oh my God. No, adults, we're allowed. That's the best part. You've got to get that going. Yeah. I didn't know that. Okay. Okay. No one, no, the, the elf, the elves didn't tell me that. So now I know. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> like, our elves like write letters and, oh, wow. um, yeah, one year they set up like a movie, a little movie theater. They were watching uh, oh. Frozen when the kids woke up in the morning. They had like some Frozen characters on a screen in front of them, which was really fun. Um, it's maybe my favorite thing ever now is just like it brings so much fairy dust and magic. Well, 
I think something that people should definitely um, look into for the holidays is your new Dictator Lunches uh, book that's out. And it's so amazing, you guys. If you haven't seen this book, it's called Dictator Lunches. It's by Jenny. It's a amazing cookbook, but like really it's just lunches that you can put together for your kids. You get this little um, bento box and I had the planet box bento box. Did you just like start doing that with the um, bento boxes and then it inspired this idea to write the book? Is that how it all came about? It started more because the teachers at school were giving me shit about uh, I was sending things to school that were inappropriate in their opinion. Okay. <laughs> and I thought that that was like funny. So I just kept pushing the envelope more and more. And I was like, how much can I get away with? So one day I sent like crab legs with like a cracker. And then I sent like uh-uh. a little pot of fondue with like instructions on how to reheat. And I just no. kind of kept going, going, going. Because for my own amusement. <laughs> oh, my God. And your kids eat all that? They eat all that food? Well, they, they eat fondue? They and would, like, yes, if I if the, it was heated for them, for sure. But uh, <laughs> this was just me, like, fucking around. And I started posting it, and it, it kind of just caught on. I got this weird following from it. And after, I don't know, a couple of years, I said to Jason, I'm like, I think this is, like, maybe a book. I don't know what. I'm not a chef, but I do. I am obsessed with feeding the kids healthy food. Mm-hmm. I love exposing them to different cultures and different cuisines. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I wanted to make something approachable for moms like me who, you know, have the guilt of not always being around to do pick up and drop off. And this is like a way for me to like have a sense of constancy with the kids where yeah. like every time they open their lunchbox, they know that I, I took some time out of my day to like do something that was just all about them. So for me, it's my version of the handwritten note. And that's, that's kind of how it, I don't know, became like what it is now. Your whole book, like we were looking through um, all the pages of your book and all the pictures. And I mean, it's just great. It's so nice because when you are making lunch all the time, you kind of are like, oh, I'm gonna, am I going to do that oh, again? Yeah. You know, it's like so nice to have the variety and yes. like be able to um, get other ideas. Totally. So for everyone who's getting their holiday wish list together... Let's talk about some like let's talk about like some top five things that you would like to get for kids or for yourself or for friends. Like what are your favorite brands or gifts to give? Um, you know, I like giving art supplies to my kids. That's great. I like any which is a good one. Um, and they always get excited about new crayons or new mm-hmm. um, markers or something like that. Um, I definitely tend to lean, you know, their birthdays are in August. So I lean heavy on the school supplies in August. Love that. Love that. <laughs> for their birthdays. Yeah. Um, but what are some of your favorite like brands or or um, gifts that you like to give to for yourself or to friends or like you know, what's your go-to or if it's something, somebody that you don't really know, if it's a white elephant gift or something, mm-hmm. like what's your favorite thing to give? I love giving, you know, I love giving winter hats here. It's like a big thing because we're always freezing oh, yeah. in New York. So like everybody needs, perfect. Gift. nobody wants to buy themselves a, a hat. It's just like an annoying thing to go out. And, it's, less, it's sort of like socks. Like you, you know, you need new ones or whatever, or underwear even. You're like, I don't want to go. Yes. I don't want to. It's an annoying thing to spend money on. So I love <laughs> buying winter hats for people. I love buying scarves. Um, I'm really into this brand, Ahimsa Home, which I was telling you about. Uh, oh, yes. Ahimsa, it's like, it's a little similar to Planet Box in a way, but it's more focused on dinner time or the yeah. at-home meals. And it's founded by an Indian pediatrician. And so these are like those like stainless steel plates that, you know, you grow up in India eating on where it's like all of your food is in these little, you know, looks like a, like a bento. Like a bento. Yeah. I, by the way, it's so great. Like I, I've had those. So easy to clean. And like there's, she has the coolest colors. So the color ones I know. drive my kids crazy. So they love like the rainbow. And I love giving those as a gift, especially when, if I'm going to a birthday or like a, you know, yes. for, I think that's a gift that the parent can appreciate too. Cause you know, kids like hate yeah. getting clothes as a yes. gift, but I hate it. And hate I it. love giving clothes to my kids and they hate it. They hate it. But like <laughs> something it. like this, it's kind of fun and you know, they get to feel cool. So that is like a, a killer gift. Um, yeah. 
I also love, um, like, you know, I'm really into giving people like, there's this company called Ju- Juna and they make a gummy. Oh, I have that gummy. By the way, that gummy works. Wait, so one night I was home and they (laughs) sent it to me first as like a, just like a, I don't know, like an influencer gift. And Lazo wanted one. It said there was like maybe THC or CBD, something CBD in it. It's CBD, but then it has something else in it called GABA or something. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. And it has Alios and like, that's the sweetener. It comes from figs. Yes. And, um... And then it's like microdose of melatonin and other things, apparently. Oh, yeah. Yes. So okay. Lazo was like, I want one, but it wasn't like a, anything. It wasn't like a, you know, five milligrams or something crazy. You know, it wasn't. No, there's no THC in it. Yeah. So he's, so he, he ate three. And next thing no, you know, no. I look over and he's like this. <laughs> like a god. dead body next to me. I'm like, oh my God, what no. happened? Yeah. So then I was like, well, let me eat one. And I was out like a light. I start, I became I obsessed. I love them so much. Let me just tell you really quick, everybody who's listening, we're not getting paid to talk about no. any of these companies. Uh-uh. So <laughs> I <laughs> like wish that I zero were. dollars. Yeah, I'm getting zero dollars <laughs> off this. Zero dollars. Um, so we're just telling you about things that we actually really like and use in our own home. And yeah. there's a brand I love, and I, I don't know if you know them, but it's a um skincare company called Osea. O S E A. Wait, I literally just got the skin oil. Is it amazing? Oh, you did? Uh-huh. Oh, it's so good. So I'm crazy about oils. We just did a um a beauty and aging uh podcast that will be coming out soon. But um, but I'm like a nut for oils and I try all different kinds. And um I have a friend who makes this oil in the UK and it's called Kiyushi. Mm. And it's very reasonably reasonably priced because I'm like, I can't just go and rebuy something that's like, know, you know, hundred dollars. Like yeah. it's insane. Um, but her oil is crazy good. But Osea's products are amazing. Their masks are really good. Their hydrating Ooh. oil is super good. Um, and around the holidays, they usually do a little gift uh, set of some kind or like a travel set. And so I love giving that to people because it's made I love supporting female founded brands that are like, you know, just like they've grown on their own. And um, it's made by this uh, girl and her mom. And it's been around for like 20 years. And over the past couple of years, they've just really started to blow up. And um, that's awesome. Yeah, it's so good. So Osea, they're amazing. Also, I will note the other two brands we mentioned female founded. Oh yeah, that's true. Cuz that's like that's like the clothes and stuff I like to wear too. It's like mm-hmm. Doen, you know, Chrissy Dawn, Free Wait, Salvador. Talk to me about Doen because like I okay. always want to get it but I feel like it's expensive. It is. It is expensive. <laughs> it's annoying. But they do have sales, which is nice. They also just started a resale program. Um oh. so you can actually like if you've bought something from Doen then you can like sell it back with them and they have a huge warehouse sale. <gasps> Um, I think once or twice a year, which is awesome. Okay. I know, which is really, really good because they, you know, then you can like stock up. Yeah. Um, but their pieces, I think similarly to like Chrissy Dawn, right. Is like they, it's something that you'll wear and you'll just keep wearing and wearing and wearing forever and then hand it down to someone or like your sweater right now looks very doing to me. It is. It's doing. So cute. <laughs> yeah, it's adorable. It is. I love it so much. Chrissy Dawn has a whole she like she has a whole line in her um in her store that's uh, regenerative cotton. And so she's oh, like working that. with a farm and she's yeah. And this is like a regenerative um she calls it the regenerative re- revolution and they're um sequestering carbon and like they're oh, doing I this love. amazing. They're going that's way cool. beyond this um, sustainability and now they're like trying to heal this land that they found that was like complete just like dirt it was nothing Mm -hmm. and then they were able to um, put cover crop on it and then they were able to grow their first round of cotton and then they made their dresses out of that and so yeah they've done this amazing thing with it Um, and I am a steward for them so I've like researched the company and I love blasting them out um, because I think what they're doing is just really special I love that Eric's favorite thing and if you're looking for a gift for a guy and you want to support a company that's doing stuff for the world Patagonia anything Patagonia I mean I can't believe all they're doing actually I was reading about it it's crazy which just makes me want to buy from them even more like they are expensive right a lot of really nice 
um, outdoor brands like that are really pricey. Um, but they have an amazing, I think it's called worn wear yeah. where it's a resale program. So you can go and buy like kids clothes on worn wear. That's only been worn like a few times oh, I love and you're getting that. coats. That's yeah. Which cool. is awesome. And you can find it on their website. You just click on that. And then they do a 40% off. <laughs> I know where Ooh. all the sales are every year. So usually after the holidays, just a heads up for everyone, they usually do like a 40% off. Oh, and Yes. You can stock up, which is awesome. But that's I love getting Eric anything Patagonia, and he loves all, all the provisions, the food. So Hilarious. he likes the this canned salmon or the smoked salmon. Oh my god, he he's the, so Nor- Norwegian. <laughs> he's, he's so such Norwegian. A Norwegian. <laughs> that's what he feeds our children. Like when we're on the beach every weekend, he like pops out like a can of mackerel, and the kids are like digging in there with their crackers. Oh, like, <laughs> funny! I love that. <laughs> so cute. So I usually put like canned fish in his stocking or something from Patagonia Provisions. Yeah, man. Okay, I'm filling my stocking with canned fish socks. Yes. Uh, art supplies mm-hmm. and dough and sweaters. <laughs> and little uh and animals that and animals that don't truly exist. <laughs> we love it. <laughs> that are given to other uh families. Oh, and then Quirkle. Have you ever played Quirkle? No. I've heard about it. What is okay, it? It's like a board. Everyone that I ask uh, that I asked this to, they're like, what? I don't know what that is. No, someone has it. I know somebody. Yeah, with it's it. like a it's a it's not a board game, but it's like these little tiles that you put together and it's like a, it's all like the colors or shapes and you have to like keep building on the board and then you get yes. points for like however much that you build at a time. We started playing that last Christmas and then we have played it continuously. I mean, my kids now I'll be like, do you want to play Kirkle? And my kids are like, oh, no, mom. <laughs> like, yeah, they're, they're like, stop. <laughs> I'm so into it. It's like, I think it's because it's the way my brain works. I love building patterns and- yeah, that must spark something in my head because I get excited about about playing this game. I love that, but I think it's a super fun thing to give for holidays is board games and yeah, doing fun. like, yeah, it's cute. Like Zingo, that's a good one Zingo's for kids that are one. learning to yeah. spell, yes. right? Uno for um, those trying to learn math, mm. um, numbers, le- number recognition. We're working on that with Esme. So there's a seven year gap between the baby. And you're uh-huh. oh, I love that. Mm-hmm. That's good. It's really nice. I love it so much. Do you have any more? I want to. Yeah, I do. I mean, I when? I don't. I would probably be sometime next year for anyone who <laughs> works with me and wants to know. I kind um, of want one more, but I feel like is it too yeah. late now that like I have an no. almost nine year old? No, 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 no. I think it's so great. First of all, it just the the way that they kind of come together in the family and where yeah. what their roles are and how they help and yeah. um my son now is nine you know but he's like sometimes if I'm racing around making their bentos in the morning mm-hmm. or whatever it is then my son I'll be like can you go put a pull up on her and like um get her dressed for school and then she gets excited she's like come on let's go and then oh. why it's like okay and then he goes with her and I can hear them in the other room, and it's oh, so cute. Oh. I can hear her like picking clothes out, and then he'll get <laughs> he'll get her dressed, and she'll pick out the most random, crazy, you know, outfit with him. But yeah. then they come out together, and they're so proud. Oh, precious! I know, I love it, and it's just, I just don't think it really matters. It's just like your family dynamic will yeah. sort of pull the youngest one into the group in some way, and. Yeah. Um, I, d- I think it's great. Add it, keep adding on to the pile. Will you I, do I love it a sleep like, pile. Do you care? I mean, like for me, I feel like I almost want to do IVF because I want mm-hmm. to know that the, that egg is a girl. Good. Well, Jason wants a girl. Jason's like, I want a girl. <laughs> but like for me, I'm more like, I want to know that it's you like, healthy know it's he- and been tested healthy. upright and left center. Yes. I don't, I'm, yeah, I hear you. What do you think about that? Because, like, I had a miscarriage during the pandemic, and I'm like, I don't know if I want to, like... Go through that again? It wasn't even, like, the trauma of that so much as, like, then you're set back another three months. It's, like, the timing yeah. of it. Because I'm working against yes. this clock with a kid that's going to be nine. So I'm like, get yes. one going. Let's go. <laughs> well, first of all, don't worry about the kid that's going to be nine. Um, because that's just going to be an amazing relationship no matter what. I yeah. mean, if I have another one next year, my son would be... 
if I tr- start trying next year, right, then yeah. my son would be like almost 11 by the time the baby's here because yes. he'll be 10 next year. Right. So and I'll be 40. Right. And so um, I think for that to me, now that I have this difference of like ages, it yeah. do- that does not matter. So you can okay. put that out of your brain. Um, but I would say that if you're concerned and that's something that you want to do, then absolutely do it. You got to do whatever feels good and makes you feel good about it. Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for doing this today. This is amazing. It was so great talking to you. I have my marching orders. I know what I'm getting everyone for the holidays. I know. Same. I have a lot of uh, really good ideas. I, actually, you gave me the perfect idea for Wyatt. I'm so excited about that. The, printer. the 3D printer yeah. for kids is yeah. such a good idea. Toy Box, I think, is the company. Toy Box. You guys can find Jenny's books. She's got th- three books, right? I have four books now. You have four? Crazy. Oh, my gosh. Okay, wait. Rifle off. I want to hear all the titles. Tell me everything. Okay. I like you just the way I am. Live fast, die hot. Okay. City of Light. That's right. And now Dictator Lunches. Oh, my gosh. Crazy. You can find them all on Amazon, right? You can, yes. And and wherever books are sold. Wherever books are anywhere. sold, hopefully. If they don't <laughs> have them, you should rage. Call me. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. If they don't have them, DM me and let me know. DM me and let's, like, start a war. What store did not stock my book? Exactly. Okay? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Um, oh my gosh, you're just amazing. And I'm going to be giving your book out now for holidays. Thank you. Yes. That's the book we should be talking about. Oh, my book. I completely forgot to even mention my book. Um, Happiness is the Journey is the name of my book. And you can find it on and it's a- on Amazon and on Limily. And it's, um, it's, it's a book. It's the perfect story. book for this season of gratitude because yes. this book is about mindfulness. It's about staying in the present. And um, the artist Natalia Moore is such a genius. I'm just going to like put that out there into the world. And I hope that you hear me say this, that she has blown me away. Every page that she did blew me away. And um, she's super, super talented. So the book is stunningly beautiful. And I had nothing to do with that. (laughs) I just wrote the words. The words are stunningly beautiful too. And honestly, it's a book that moms will want to read over and over again to their kids because it has such a profound and beautiful message. So I really urge everybody to buy a copy. Thank you so much. (laughs) It's called Happiness is the Journey. Thanks for the book plug. Of course. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with it. Jenny, I love you so much. Thank you. you for coming on and doing the podcast. Of course, my pleasure. I find, I don't know about you, but age eight is quite interesting for kids because Bodhi's really sort of started transitioning out of toys. Okay. He plays a little bit. There's this particular um, game that he loves playing, these little toys called Arcados, like A-K-E-D-O-S, and they're really big in Australia right now. Mm. So all the kids bring them to school and they're these little battle dudes um and there's this arena and then you put the guys up and they battle and then they split apart like they're they're sort of um they've got these magnets and then when you battle each other like one of them will like split the other one apart so the magnet will break break apart and it's this really cute little game but my boys really enjoy it and I think that's really the last of Bodhi's toy playing So I loved how what Jenny was talking about in her um, gift guide was the 3D printer for kids. Mm, And that like doing an adult 3D printer is so expensive. But the kid one, I I don't know how it works or anything. And she said she hasn't even tried it yet, but she just got it for her kid. And it's made by this company called Toy Box. And I actually looked it up because I was like, I need to see this for Wyatt because he's so obsessed with architecture and like I'm writing it down, just creating things and building things. And so um, I thought it was so cool that she mentioned that because I'd never even heard of that before. And uh, why it works with 3D printers like the big ones at his school in his steam lab. So I feel like that's something that he would be really into as well. Oh, that sounds really cool. Because he actually still loves playing with toys. Like his biggest thing that he loves to play with is Legos. Like he can build anything and it's his favorite thing. And he plays with them constantly, flies all the ships and the 
you know, he's really into Star Wars. So he's like built the helmet of the stormtrooper and he builds all the ships and creates all these worlds. But it's still like his favorite thing is getting wow. Legos. Do you know, Forrest is the same. Forrest yeah. loves Lego. We say Lego. It's really oh, weird. Oh, you do? <laughs> Lego. And apparently that's a South Australian thing. So like Aussies say like, I can't even say it. Look at me. I'm like, Lego? <laughs> Lego. But we say Lego. Um, but Forrest is really big into it as well. So he, you know, he'll, we'll get him the box and then he'll half build it together and then he just yeah. freestyles and he does whatever he wants. He's like, choo choo, I'm adding this part and I'm putting this together and making it my own thing. But he is my kid that will play. I think he'll play with toys and figurines and things and sticks and random leaves and he can play with anything at any point forever. He's just that kid. It's really, yeah. really sweet. That is really cute. Yeah, Bodie's sort of moving on out. It's so funny. I wonder if it's because he's got an older sibling. It might be. But I have been noticing the transition. Like even today we got back from Australia and you know, I came back with the girls and I'd been gone shooting this movie for eight days and I got back and I was like, oh, what? just wonder what the dynamic's going to be like. And yeah. immediately like uh, Bodie and Isaac were chilling in Isaac's room together and then Forrest and Poet were just playing with all the toys together. They were reunited. They were holding hands. They were playing mummies and daddies. or just were into you know, all that like belief play, the make-believe, which is so, so sweet. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that is so cute. I wanted to mention to some people out there who do not know this company because it's an Australian company, but they do ship worldwide, which is really exciting. And it's very nostalgic. Any Australians listening will remember The Lost Forest, which was a very Ooh. massive store back in the 90s. Do you remember, Sarah, when Bodhi went through a phase and he was obsessed with these things called puggles? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you yeah. had a whole, like, puggle uh, birthday theme for him, like a forest party and, like, yeah, I remember that. Yes, with smoke machines and talking trees and it was so fun. So cute. There's this – it's – the website is just puggle.com and I can't exactly remember what puggle stands for, but it's something really sweet. It's like – Peace, understanding, generosity, gentleness, loving, and energy. So you you used to be able to go into these stores and there was this amazing, magical, enchanted music playing and you would Aww. select, you would, you would adopt your puggle and it would go down this <laughs> magical tree, down this like twirling slide and you'd catch it and it was just so divine. You told me all about this and I was yeah. like, what? what is this place in Australia? <laughs> so amazing. But the cool thing about them is they ship worldwide and you can design your own puggle. So if your kid's into like so at, at one point Bodhi was really into yellow. So we got this like amazing yellow puggle made velvet with these big wings and his initials on the puggle, which was really sweet. And we had He's, you can get the mummies and the babies and you can get all different colors and you get sparkle ones and glow mesh ones and whatever you want and you can design it and make it yourself. And it's just, there's a really beautiful story behind it. And I know they really struggled during the pandemic and their only store in Australia, which was located in Melbourne, shut down. So I just want to show them so much love. Uh, we are like their number one customers. We, we <laughs> Well, oh, it's so sad. Actually, we were, but now we bought so many Puggles that they've just been handed down to the next yeah, kids yeah. that we don't really need to buy anymore. We have about, I would say we have about 35 Puggles <laughs> since Bodie first got obsessed with them when he was five years old. Oh, my god! Um, and now our kids love them and they're these little wombat-looking creatures and they're filled with, like, sand and seeds. But I will tell you, if you live in the hills and you have any issues with mice, the mice will get in and eat the puggles. So <gasps> we have had to send about 20 puggles to Puggle Hospital and get fixed up because the mice come in and just eat the seeds inside of them and just, like, rip holes in them all. Yeah. Oh, that makes perfect sense. That makes really good sense. I know. I mean, I lived with like a whole family of mice in my closet when I was a kid. I really did. And I got so comfortable 
um, living with mice. And I mean, my mom it drove her nuts, but I just like, I couldn't help but like put candy bars and like things in my, my closet. God. And then they, I would just like open my closet door and I would catch one. One of them would just be like sitting there holding like a piece of a candy bar, staring at me like, oops. And we'd both be frozen and I'd be like, I'm just gonna shut the door and I just like shut the door and then it would disappear <laughs> oh my god I it's so funny because we had we can oh my gosh in the Adelaide Hills like the mice can be insane there I mean we've had all sorts of issues in my house and rare ter- flying termites and all yes, the things if you yes. follow my Instagram you oh know that we've had yes. some issues with some infestations that's mm, correct yay um, but we did have a mice issue when we were away and our house sitters who are not vegan were like, you know, they put the mice bait out and whatever. And we got back. Oh no. And we found, oh, and th- no. this is not meant to happen Yeah, when you use bait. And we, as a family, don't choose to use bait. We're just like, whatever, we'll deal with having the mice. But because our house sitters were living there, they were like, we don't want mice. So they put it out and the First day we got back, I saw this little cute baby mouse like in the middle of the room. And I was like, oh, my God, there's a mouse here. That's insane. But it like was not doing well. Oh, and no. I, it was awful. It was oh. awful because I know it was like really dehydrated and I know what was happening to it. So I ended up like getting it and I just wanted it to know love before it died. And Mark was like, what is wrong with you? And I tried like feeding it water and I, it, I like wrapped it in this little baby sock and I oh put it outside and I was like patting it and it, no joke, we were singing to it. It was a whole thing. That's like my mom, my mom trying to resuscitate the um, the lizards. The lizards, <laughs> the lizards that we fall in her pool. <laughs> we would check on it and sing to it. And I was like, I'm so sorry this happened to you. Oh my gosh. But of course, like as soon as the termites came in, I was like, ah, get rid of them all. Kill them all. Like, oh gosh, it's so bad. <laughs> I mean, that actually makes me, because, okay, so I was think I was so comfortable with the mice because I loved, I was crazy about that book, Stuart Little, um, and those stories. And so I think that is a good transition is also talking about, well, also in terms of mice, there's a, a brand called My, I think it's My Leg, um, My Leg Mice or something like that. And they make really, My, my Lay? My Lie. My lie. My lie. So I'm stuffing my face with burger. <laughs> I had put it on I had put it on mute. But I couldn't I'm not so, say how it's I'm supposed so to be American. Said. I'm so American. I'm like my leg. The only it's reason called my leg, right? <laughs> <laughs> the that... only reason I know it's my lie. My lie. They sent, okay. me, they oh. sent us like the most amazing like boxes of these little mice and oh my gosh and the house we've got the doll's house and we've got the little strollers and all the th- accessories everything is so cute it's pretty it's really pricey, pricey i got to say it's kind of one of those things where like it's like 40 dollars a mouse yeah when i was a kid my my aunt used to buy me these like precious moments dolls but i would get like one every christmas and that's kind of what i do with my kids is like they'll get one mouse which is like $27 which is a lot of money mm-hmm. but then they literally play with it non-stop it's my kids favorite thing they shove it in their backpacks mm. they like put it in their pockets like they just love them so much so in They're terms so of cute. cute little mice that is a really cute gift for kids it's really detailed as well like you'll get like the little like mom and dad and they're sleeping in the and bed the babies. And got a little, like eye mask and they come and in little got... like match boxes yeah the <laughs> little so... boxes they're so good but it is pronounced my lie okay my lie my lie <laughs> okay my lie we love my lie um we love my lie okay so i have there's another australian brand actually i was looking on um three little plums is this amazing website by my friend and she has such good gift guides. Um, I will say that she also puts Bayo and my book on her gift guides because she's amazing <laughs> and so sweet. Thanks, girl. Thanks, girl. <laughs> um, but I love her gift guides because they're all like low talks. So it's just like whatever is 
you know, non-toxic, low-tox for the home, for the family. So you can always kind of go there and be like, all right, so what's like the most eco-friendly thing that I can get for, you know, a family or a kid or someone who, you know, really is thinking about that stuff. But she has this um, Australian brand. It was this Australian website called Terra Treasures. Have you ever heard of Terra Treasures or Tara Treasures? Anyway, she has the cutest hand felted toadstool mushroom purse i mean it is our like dream it's a hand felted purse it's 27 dollars, and it's so cute for like the little girl in your life um i think it would be the perfect little gift to put those mice inside of and like something you know what i mean i wonder if that's what prairie got for her first birthday i don't know the brand oh maybe she has this little felt yeah, Hat, like little purse thing, little handbag. It's quite small. It's green. Oh, it's cute. got all these details on it. But I didn't, and it was Australian, so I wonder if it's this brand. This looks like a mushroom. It's like a little toadstool house, and it's the cutest. I know it's so sweet. So um, that was like an Australian. I think they shipped to the U.S. as well because she's um, three little plums is in the U.S. And then um, a couple other of the like kids toys I'll just throw on here while we're chatting about it is Ollie Ella. Ollie and Ella, they have really so cute dolls, baskets, strollers, like all the cute little things for kids, like luggage. Um, What's the new, what are those new beautiful dolls they have? You know, the little like fuzzy ones with the floppy heads, the little flopsy ones? Isn't it called ones? the Duncan do- <gasps> Yeah, Or something like that. I, I think it's called a Duncan doll. Yes. I, got, I actually got one for, um, that was like winter's big present last year for Christmas was oh. that doll. And it was so, it's so cute. And it's really like, it looks so beautifully handmade. Um, and then you don't have, it's not like plastic and stuff like that too, if that's something that, Definitely something that I think about is like how to cut out, you know, plastic. And you can find dolls that look like your child because they come oh, in yeah. all shapes so and many, sizes and colors right. and colors, different hair colors hair, and ginger everything. hair. And like, it's it's really amazing. I love it. Oh, yeah, this is what it's called. Oliella Cozy Dinkum. And you can dinkum. get the ones with the little like yes, the dinkum, dinkum dolls. dolls. And you can get the little fuzzy bear ones. I got winter the one that has dark hair and um it's like a like more of like an olive skin and I just she like is so obsessed with it she thinks it's the cutest thing ever it's so cute Um, my girls have that too and then one other store I was gonna say is this little have you ever heard of the tender leaf wooden toys I have those are really cute too so those um my kids love those and have like a bunch of the little toys and stuff for the dollhouse. And, you know, um, is it Hearth and Hand by Magnolia, like a Target? Um, Joanna Gaines does this. Uh, she has her own little store at Target. And she always has really cool wooden toys for kids and like little felt toys and stuff at Target, which I love. Really? Because it's mm-hmm. I only ever see Melissa and Doug. Like whenever you try and look for an alternative to plastic when you go to yes. one of those mainstream I'm yeah. always like okay Melissa and Doug and that's great because my kids love because they've got an amazing range of um like yeah. food so you yes. can my kids love food play and shopping play and cooking play yeah so I love Melissa that. and Doug I can always go to Target and be like all right great I can get like you know you're at a taco shop and you get all the little things for tacos or <laughs> you're doing pizza night and you get all the little wooden pizzas yeah it's really cute um and that's not to say that we are exclusively wooden at all. It's actually so <laughs> funny. I We have tons of plastic things in our house for sure. I remember, you know, Sarah and I talk about this all the time when we're like everything's only ever going to be um, <laughs> wooden and organic and that's no right. dyes. And <laughs> yeah. And then, just, and then it's not realistic. that's just not realistic. Yeah. But I mean, there's definitely the, – and you get gifts from people, my mom, hello, mom, um, who <laughs> send you things that are plastic. And I'm like, mom, I said nothing. <gasps> plastic that with blinking lights and then it's like my kid's favorite toy of that course. they cannot live without <laughs> i remember this one time i'm not gonna say who it was but this one time i went to the beach with a family that sort of i knew like through social media mm-hmm. and um me and my friend chrissy rocked up <laughs> and we brought um plastic beach toys because mm-hmm. we were going to the beach and the people that we met were like oh my gosh our kids have 
never played with these before. They've never even seen plastic beach toys. Oh, wow. This is insane. <laughs> and then their kids were obsessed. Like they had the spades and they were digging oh, and they geez. were playing. And, they were, yes. and I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm so sorry to corrupt you with the plastic toys. But that was so <laughs> funny. They're like, no, now they're obsessed. And I've seen them <laughs> since. And they're like, oh, yeah, we totally started getting the plastic beach oh, toys. Oh, that's like, really sorry. funny. <laughs> sorry, my bad. Sorry. Um, another great thing, I think I started mentioning this in the um, talk with Jenny, but another great thing is books for kids. Um, that uh, I'll just name a few off here that are some of my favorites. So I love the Iggy Peck Architect series by um, Andrea Be- uh, Beatty or Betty. I'm not sure how you say that. Elephant and Piggy, anything Elephant and Piggy or anything Mo Willems, which is like some of our favorites. Diary of a Pug. Wyatt loved reading that when he was like in first grade. Land of Stories is another book series. So great for that like early that reader that's like, you know, starting to read longer books, more like chapter mm-hmm. books and stuff like that. Um, the Amulet series is a comic oh. book series that Wyatt is just, he's Same. like, when can I get book nine? I want to get book nine. Oh I'm my like, gosh, Brody's up to book nine. <laughs> is he really? Oh, it must Brody's be obsessed with Amulet. Uh, obsessed. Obsessed. Yes. I mean, Esme one day was like, did you see the monster in the Amulet book? And I was like, no, is there a crazy monster? And she was like, Oh yeah, it's intense. Oh my like, gosh! Oh. <laughs> Bodhi wanted to go to Book Week as one of the amulet characters, but it was this yeah. very obscure character, uh, like in the background. Yes, <laughs> and like day of, I'm like putting, I'm putting them all together, uh, and it's like, the, like this trying guy, to find it. <laughs> yeah, and like bandages and all this sort of stuff, and then he was like. Mom, I just look like a mummy. Like I don't look like this guy from Amulet. And I was like, well, dude, it's probably because like he's such an obscure character. He's not one of the main characters. Like, you know, just lean into the idea that you look like a mummy. And then he was like, I want a whole other costume. So day of book week, I'm like, like running around trying to oh find like a backup costume. But yes. no, he loves Amulet. Um, did you get into, did your kids get into the Treehouse series? The Magic Treehouse? The, yes. Uh, no, yeah. is it Magic? No, like the te- 65th, like, tr- oh, what is that? Let me look. Let me look at this. This is an Australian. Oh. Um, oh, I don't know. Then I only know, Ma- is it called Magic Treehouse? Yeah, Magic Treehouse is the no. one where the brother and the sister who like go to the treehouse and they travel to all no. these different, pl- all of these different it's- time periods. I know that one, okay. the Magic Treehouse, but this is called the Treehouse series by Andy Griffiths. No, so I don't know like this one. The seventy-eight story treehouse, one hundred and seventeen story treehouse, one hundred and thirty oh. story treehouse, the thirty-nine story. So it starts, I think, at the thirteenth story treehouse. Anyway, it's Got an it. amazing series. Oh, Why cool. I would love it. Just okay. a big shout out. Putting also, that the one David down. Walliams books um, are really, really funny. I'm not sure if. Uh, you have discovered those yet, but no. Brody really loves his work. Do you know who he is? No. Was he was he big in America? They did um I don't know. Oh my goodness. Uh they did Oh my gosh, now it's escaping me the name. It was a really funny comedy show. Everyone's probably yelling it at me right now. Here we go. <laughs> Everyone I'm on the mother day. him <laughs> right now. Little Britain. <laughs> like, Little Britain. Oh yes, yes, he yes, was, yes. He was the one oh. that we'd always talk about bitty. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Like that's the grown so man cute. wanting to have yes. his mom's breast milk. That's right. That's right. He was so um, funny. That's so great. No, I haven't heard of that. I mean, Wyatt would absolutely love that. And he he loves anything that's funny. Like, I tried getting him. Yes. There's a, a series where it's like Star Wars set in middle school. So I got him one of those books. But he was like, Mom, you got me book two. Like, I need book one. I don't even know where it started. I was like, oopsies. <laughs> Um, and then, oh, another great idea is the week junior. So the week, uh, magazine, but for kids. And so it has like all the current events and news that's been going on over the last week. And, um, it's, you know, put it, I actually enjoy reading it because it's very positive because <laughs> there's so much news that's so intense and negative, but, um, this is like all the positive, amazing things that are happening in the world right now. And so getting them a subscription to the week junior. Junior is really cool. So Wyatt's always looking for the like science stuff and the space stuff and like what's the news of the week and um, so cool. Yeah, I used to do that with a UFO book. Like I had a UFO magazine (laughs) when I was about nine years old, and I had a subscription to it. And that's like why I got into all things creepy and weird. Love because I was reading all about UFOs when I was eight and nine. Um, Another one I want to mention, which like 
I think in America, it's so massive over here. Like every household has this. But in Australia, it's not quite as big and it's harder to find, but it's magnetiles. Oh, so yes. So my kids have played with magnetiles from Prairie's age, you know, one all the way up till now. And so even good. today, like I got back to the house and the kids have all got together and they're building the most insane magnetile castles and towers and then you get to smash it all down and you can build little houses and put figurines in them and magnetiles is unbelievable like it's it's great such a staple in our house in terms of toys for that kid that like loves to build it's so awesome and they have a lot of themed ones now too like i was seeing Mm -hmm. that they had and then and they have like uh different shapes and sizes they used to just have like one line of magnetiles but now you can get like so many like bigger ones smaller ones animals Mm -hmm. which is super cool too it's really cool we should also rifle off maybe some of our like favorite kids clothing brands i mean some kids hate getting clothes for uh christmas i loved it i loved it so much um so i really love mini rodini i know we both love children of the tribe yes um i was just in their store last week oh so that's not true i made that up it was about three weeks ago (laughs) (laughs) um we both love sapling child it's like amazing it's a mom owned a lot of the places that we've been talking about and that we talked about with jenny as well are you know female founded and then you know small businesses which i just really love to support minnow swim is a great one um summer and storm summer love and, me some uh, summer and summer storm summer and storm oh. so good all small co so that's a great one if you look on their instagram all small co they have so many different kinds of really cute clothes um but i love mini rodini is definitely one of my favorites because they are um gots certified they have um they use sustainable materials and they're organic and like they're just they do so so much um to try and like make a very small footprint um and then uh also if you're looking for uh the like outdoorsy kids there's like patagonia for kids and they have worn wear which we talked about with jenny um Faraday brand is a brand that uh, a friend of mine started and it's a family-owned brand and they're amazing they actually offered a discount for um, all of our listeners. So for Faraday, it's F A H E R T Y. Um, wow. Their dis- their discount is Mother Day's twenty, so twenty percent off their stuff, which so is pretty cool. Um, another favorite of mine is Print Bebe. Ooh, I haven't heard of that one. It's amazing. It's Australian. It's so beautiful. In fact, you have commented on a poet's like flowing dress <gasps> yes she's got oh. some really beautiful printed very Cute. like some smaller floral prints but i love that super chic gorgeous um and they're just really well made i love kids clothes that are well made yeah because kids want to play they want to play hard mm-hmm. and they're out getting dirty they're out amongst it and you want the clothes to actually yes stay together That's <laughs> and true. not get ripped in two seconds Exactly. Yeah, so that's really well made, those ones. Okay, great. Should we transition to some adult stuff? Because you said you had a lot of adult stuff. I have a lot. <laughs> and I want to say out uh, all the uh, Phoebe Tonkin fans, and there are many of oh, them in yes. the land because she's Tell extremely us. popular. She's a wonderful actress. She's one of my best friends. She was a bridesmaid at my wedding. Mm. Me and uh, the Phoebe Tonkinator, um, <laughs> we started Your Zen Life together. So Your That's Zen right. Mama never would have been Your Zen Mama That's without right. Your Zen Life. So um, thank you, Phoebe Tongs, for being uh, the founder of Zen Life <laughs> with me. Um, so I, she's just one of those people who's very cool and she just gets what is in and what's going to be useful to someone. So I was like, all right, I'm going to hit her up and be like, tell me, give me the list, like what's happening right now. Um, And she gave me a list of a few things that she's eyeing off as gifts for her girlfriends um, and boyfriends, friends that are boys. I'm not saying she has a boyfriend. I don't know. I don't know if she has a boyfriend right now. I'm not spreading any rumors. Out of the bag. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Um, No. Um, But also, before I jump into that, she has her own brand that I'm obsessed with. And Sarah, you've commented on this outfit before. Uh, It's Lejour. And it is um, basically. Luxurious. It's 
<laughs> it is it's so luxurious. A roller ass. <laughs> but it came out of this idea that she wanted to have clothes that were so easy to chuck on, that felt amazing on the body, that looked really cool when you're on Zoom meetings. Love that. And, Love that. You know, you can head out the house wearing it and it looks cool and sort of slouchy and chic. But Cute. also it's like loungewear around the house. You can totally just be a such a dag wearing them so I've got them in red <laughs> I have them in gold and I have um I have red gold and black so and there are Love lots it. of different colors and it's amazing it feels like a like a cashmere slouchy you can get different shapes and sizes anyway you should check Cute. it out that's her brand Leisure. so I would add that to my gift list Love it. um and the ones that she came up with is she's obsessed with Kin Euphorics, which is non-alcoholic alternative drinks and spirits. It's infused with adaptogens and nootropics. So she's obsessed with, I guess, uh, Bella Hadid. Am I saying that right? Hadid. I think it's Hadid. Hadid. There we go. I don't know. (laughs) I'll I'll just blame the accent. It's the Australian (laughs) accent. Um, She's one of the founders. Oh, uh, yummy. Jen of Kin and Bella Hadid. Nice. And, um, yeah, so it looks really good. Kin Spritz, key active ingredients, a smile for your mind, <laughs> Rodolia, Rose, 5-HTP, <laughs> GABA. Don't know what great. any of these things are. Sounds but great. Look, it Delish. sounds really good. So that was on her list. <laughs> Love it. Um, canned the Moon. Is it Sea in the Moon? Oops, see in the Moon? Sea the Moon. <laughs> oh, because that's we actually on her. Mine. Yes, it's Carson Meyer. Yes, she's a doula. Awesome. She's actually pregnant right now, or yes. maybe even her baby will come before this comes out. Oh, my goodness. Um, I just followed yes, back. She has Instagram. an amazing um, body oil that and her body scrub and it's it smells so it's like has this like vanilla smell um but she's awesome she's just a great human being and i know that she's really thoughtful with her products so see in the yeah. moon the scrub and that's what phoebe said as well she's yeah. like specifically the scrub she loves love it and then she's got a perfume on here which is great because i have two perfumes myself oh. um costa brazil okay um oh looks quite chic she it's a, it's skincare and aroma for the body the spirit right. and the earth. Nice. And it says shine in nature. So <laughs> apparently this is a divine. Oh, I can already tell by the Instagram page. It's at oh. Costa Brazil um, with a Z. Nice. And um, it you can smell that really cool. from I, a mile I can, away. <laughs> I can smell it from a mile away. Well, it's a very nice, beautiful, curated Instagram Great. page. I'm Love sure it. it's amazing. And look, if Phoebe Tonkin likes it, I know it's going to be amazing. So yeah, true. They were her... Picks. Thank you, Tonks. Thank you. I love her so much. She's I love like the so most gorgeous soul inside and out. So I know, isn't she? I mean, it's just unfair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like um, not fair, maybe, really. I know. You're just <laughs> amazing. Um, I'm going to rifle off a couple of um, picks for my girlfriends. So our dear uh, Nikki Reed has an amazing company called Buy You With Love. And um, her stuff is like recycled gold and and she has grown diamonds and she has beautiful things like, you know, barrettes for the hair that are from recycled gold that are like $30, which is an amazing gift or stocking stuffer. Um, but I love, love, love um, what she's doing with her company and supporting her company. Her stuff is so beautiful. It's unbelievable. So good. And it's unique. I haven't seen anything like it. I know. It's amazing. Um, and then there's uh, another company called Ozma, O-Z-M-A, um, from California. And that's a mom-owned company. And she makes beautiful sweaters and raw um raw silk t-shirts and cotton pants and stuff like that. And her stuff is so great. Um, So her and then another one of my all-time favorites. um, I talked about this with Jenny, but Christy Dawn, um, I love her Mm -hmm. clothes and they're so good. And um, I have a discount code with them, 15 Sarah W-O, if you guys want to use my discount code. Um, But I'm wearing one of her dresses right now. If you're watching this, it's made of regenerative cotton. Um, and then the other one is Frida Salvador and I'm obsessed with her shoes. They're so, so comfortable, beautiful. Um, and then my code with them is 15 Sarah. So, um, love giving out discounts because I love buying things. 
at a discount. <laughs> Me I too. Discount queen. And I just, oh, I've got food in my mouth again. Guys. That's okay. Look, I'll keep I'm talking. I'm just keeping it real. I'm keeping it real. Keep but it I'm real. <laughs> people love a discount. Like my, it's true. Um, I don't know how it's all going with Bayo, but yeah. this week the the um, Black Friday sale. This is going to be way after Black Friday. <laughs> yeah. So you guys have already purchased these things, maybe. <laughs> no, maybe right. not. <laughs> but still, people love a discount. That's true. We offered 20% off and I was like, well, well, hello, Shopify. Ding, 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 ding. I was like, oh, my gosh, our small company is like making so much more than we usually do. Which is so great. And by the way, Lovewell is offering a discount and so is Bayo. You can use Mother Days 20 for 20% off of our products. So on Bayo.com or on Lovewell. Hold up a Bayo so people can see. Bayo.com, B-A-E-O.com. Um, if you're watching this, I'm holding up my Bear Tent, which is our newest product. It's my favorite. Thank you. A lip and cheek tent. Um, it's super nourishing and keeps you all nice and glowy and super easy to to put in your bag but this is 20% off which is kind of awesome um yeah and look we have to put in some shameless plugs here because yeah, of course. we both are company owners and we <laughs> believe in our products so guys we really hey, do. chuck some bail in chuck some That's love right. well here's my love well it's all ripped and janky because guess what i actually have my own products this and, really feels um, like a qvc episode now QVC. That we're- <laughs> here's my life here's my element <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my god and- i love it. Yes, we're offering 20% off. Um, but we are at lovewell, L O V E W E L L dot <laughs> earth, not dot com dot earth dot earth. And you can use code Mother Days, D A Z E 20. Yes. Um, for our brands, which is pretty cool. And um, oh, I also wanted to throw in here the little market. The little market, um, yes. each purchase supports more than 500 artisans. It's an amazing company. Um, the little market has really cute kids stuff like hand knit puppets for like $18. Um, they have such great gifts. You can like make do candles with your friends' names on them. You can do little like gift sets and things like that. And put together everything has to go through this really rigorous process of being fair trade and um before they would sell it and so you know you can anywhere from homewares all the way to toys to blankets to baskets for your home the little market is a great place to get gifts for the holidays my mouth full of them oh okay i'm gonna keep going <laughs> Um, gosh, you guys, I also some great books for, um, the friends, the moms, the friends in your lives. I love the book class mom. It is so funny. It's called class mom. If you haven't read that, um, the last thing he told me by Laura Dave managing expectations by mini driver. The first 40 days is an amazing book for a new mother, a woman who's pregnant because it's going to be something that will really help and support her. Ina May's guide to childbirth. If you're, um, if you have a friend who's pregnant, if you're pregnant, you put that on your wish list. It's an Definitely. unbelievable book. Um, our book <clears throat> that we never yes. can remember the name of. <laughs> <laughs> it has two different names, guys. I know. I know. The Zen Mama's Guide to Finding Your Rhythm and Pregnancy Birth and Beyond. <laughs> or Zen Mama's Finding Your Path Through Pregnancy Birth and Beyond. Oh, my gosh, you That's guys. the Australian version. That's um, true. I have some things to show as well. Show us. Show, show, us, and show us all your things. Okay. Guys, something that I love, 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 and I got this as a present um, from one of my best friends in all the land, Annabelle Harron. Woo, woo. Shout out to Annabelle. Oh, I love um, her. She's the best. Oh, my God. She's so good. Anyway, so she taught me about this company called The Wild Unknown. So okay. The Wild Very cool. Unknown do really cool cards like um intuitive cards so you can do tarot cards there's animal spirit cards there's these oh. archety- archetype cards alchemy cards there are so many different versions so she bought me the wild unknown archetype cards and the the person who created them also draws them and is like deeply intuitive and has such a soulful vibe um, that they've very quickly become like one of the most sought after sort of tarot oh, cards. Cool. Anyway, so as Sarah knows, I've been dabbling. Um, I know. Although I did tell my mum it was for a movie role. <laughs> 
<laughs> because she keeps finding them around. <laughs> I really want you to like read my car. I need you to like go through and, and read me soon. I know. Like, well, I have to do it once, once I feel more confident with it. Anyway, I'm holding yeah. them up right now. Okay. This is the wild unknown. Oh, this so is cool. the tar- tarot cards. Um, okay. They're just beautiful. The illustrations are divine and I love everything she says. Um, so that is just top of my list in terms uh. of. A gift. So anything good. wild unknown is amazing. So it's one of the, I would say it's one of my favorite gifts I've ever received. Mm. So uh, I thank love you, Annabelle Harron. Okay, another one. I've been having a lot of luck with this book. I have been deep in the manifesting recently, and Ooh, yes, um, it's been working. I, oh God, it's been working. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, it's I like, know. I was like, you know what? I think I've just decided to switch gears, and I'm going to have Teresa manifest for me. <laughs> Oh my god! I had a few people reach out to me this week, being like, "Hey, do you mind just um, manifesting this thing?" And I'm like, yeah, yeah. "Okay, can, okay, can you just, I'll put uh, it in the journal." Can you write this, this in, my, is, in your journal? <laughs> this is my journal. This is it. This is what I use. Okay. So I actually always forget the name of it because they don't make it so obvious because it's just more about the book. Okay. Um, but it says "Divine Mystery Writing and Creativity Journal." Okay. And it is. It's hard to find who it's by, but down the very bottom here. Is it's designed in Australia? It's printed in China. BlueAngelOnline.com. <laughs> Love it. So this is what it looks like if you can see it. It's amazing. Yeah, it's got this I like do. mystical woman on the front, and the whole way inside, there's so many illustrations and prompts. And at the bottom of each page, there are these affirmations. Like I just opened, I opened the page, and on the left hand side, it says, "Love's flame is in my heart." And on the right, it says, I am a channel of light and love. Mm. Um, And there are things like the present is full of infinite possibility, creativity, and wisdom. Anyway, I love whoever puts this together. That's amazing. Yeah, that's so cool. I feel like it's just, it's been such an amazing thing to fold into my life as a part of my practice, my daily practice. So I highly recommend this book. In particular, and I think there are a few you can get by the same author. This was a gift. Um, it was given to me by Raz Samuel, who was someone I worked with on the clearing. So shout out to Raz. That's pretty cool. Um, he was he's such a legend, and he was amazing in the show. And he he gave me a rap gift, and I was so surprised. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so. I immediately ran out and bought him one about an hour later and was like, I also got one for you. Um, <laughs> but this was the, the gift I got and I, I, and love, I love it. it. So I wanted to shout that out. That's um, so good. Can I segue into some perfumes? Yes. Yeah, I, know a, I know it's an interesting thing to buy for a person, but there's some sense that I feel like you can't go wrong with. Okay. If you have a little bit more dough to spend – let's say it's a bestie or it's your mom or just someone really, really special in your life, yes. the go-to Santal, La Lava oh, yeah. Santal 33. I think absolutely everyone can recognize this smell. It's beautiful. It's earthy. It's uplifting. Gorgeous. It's inspirational. It I doesn't smell good on it. me. It smells good what? on everyone else. Yeah. It gives me a headache actually. When <gasps> I smell it on other people, I love it. When I put it oh. on myself, it does not smell the same. Really? When you wear it or anyone else wears it, I I'm wear like, it all that the time. is and by the way, I bought it and I was like, that is my favorite perfume. And then I put it on myself and it doesn't smell the same on me. No. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so maybe you should try this one. Oh, should I even tell you this? Because I should just get you this. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. Because it's the name of your daughter. So have have you been hearing me talk over the years about this perfume I wear called Winter? No. Okay, so Winter is the most incredible fragrance and it's unisex, guys. Oh, that's cool. So you can get it. Mark and I share a bottle. I love that. So it's by this company called Days In, D-A-S-E-I-N, Days In. Okay. Funnily enough, the old owner of Days In was my old therapist. So when I first came to LA, I had a therapist for the first two years and she was really amazing. And then randomly I discovered this perfume and I was looking further into it and I I went to like about us section. I was like, oh my God, that looks 
so much like my old therapist. And then I looked further and I was like, oh, my God, it's her. That's wild. What an interesting side hustle she has. That's um, crazy. But I it love is that. the best smelling perfume. And I think mm. people comment on it all the time whenever we wear it. Um, and it, she, it sort of shut down for a minute and then new owners came in. And it's up oh. and running. So Winter by Days In is the most remarkable I smell. I cannot wait to hear from people who try it because it is yeah. incredible. Oh, that's and then cool. I have one last one. And this is a shout out to Cassandra Kerr who helps <laughs> us run the Mother Day <laughs> and your Zen Mama. And she's my best mate and just the coolest chick in all the land. And she runs my life as well. Um, she, every time I wear this, she was like, oh, my God, Tess. Oh, my God, Tess. That's the best smell. Oh, my God. Are you wearing it again? It is, it's got a funny name. So it's called Portrait of a Lady, um, <laughs> which is kind of a random name. Oh, gosh. It smells so – it's kind of that oaky, earthy vibe, like a really kind of light and bright but um, with like a – yeah, like an earthiness to it. So it's uh, by this person called Dominique Ropian. Um, and then under under here it says Frederick Marle. And I got this from David Jones in Australia. I love that. I believe David Jones uh, ships overseas. So this is another one that love I wanted that. to mention. That is so great. I mean, I I like using uh, oils a lot, um, mm-hmm. uh, lots of different oils. And there's one oil, I think it's called, I don't know how to speak French, so I'll just butcher it. It's like Maison Louis Marie or something like that. Maison Louis Marie. <laughs> oh, pretty. I think you got it. Yeah, you do yeah, really good. Yeah, I nailed yeah. it. Nailed it. Maison. Um, there's this company called Grove Collaborative, if you're in the U.S., um, and they have so many curated, amazing products, um, cleaning product, everything from like cleaning products to like uh, skincare products. They carry um, um, like, you know, like that brand Osea, which is like an amazing mm. skincare brand that I talked about with Jenny. Um, but they have such great stuff and it's all curated in one website. And um, they have really cool holiday like gift sets and stuff like that. And I think um, when you're looking for like a cleaner alternative, that would be a great place to go. So it's called groveco.com. And then um, also, we I forgot to mention in in the talk with Jenny that I love and Teresa and I both love that um, brand. I think it's called Ilia, I-L-I-A. It's oh, a it's makeup really brand good. and their stuff is so good. And I use them and I use Beauty Counter and I use this oil called Kiyushi Oil that I mentioned. Um, but for anyone who loves to gift like um like wine or tequila or anything like Cali that. Cali Rosa. Cali Rosa. Ta- I was Cali just, Rosa. It's on my list. It's so good. It is it's so, so good. good. It's a beautiful bottle. It's like this light pink bottle. It's so cute. Um, they have like a, a, a the darker, I think more of the like sipping tequila mm. um, as well. But the light pink bottle is just so beautiful. I feel like Biati, am I saying yes. that? Am I yeah. butchering the name? No, no, no. Biati. Yeah, Biati. she's one of my best friends. Like Biati mm-hmm. is the coolest person on the planet. <laughs> so that is why when this bottle arrived, because she sent us some, Aww. I was like, oh my goodness. Like only like <laughs> Biati can make a bottle look this pristine and Aww. incredible. And I almost didn't want to drink it because I was like, it just so looks good. so amazing <laughs> on my shelf in my bar. I'm like, I, I want to leave it it's here. It's so pretty. And she's so pretty. the kindest human being. She's Aww. got like the best personality. There's such a great family. So anyway, I love their tequila. And also there's a wine, um, a winery in Berkeley called Brock Cellars. And they have like organic biodynamic they have these beautiful um wines and so if you're looking for something to gift they ship and their stuff is so amazing okay i have i have three more okay great three Go more for it. oh oh i did yeah. want to na- mention sorry i did want to mention ludlow vintage shop if you love gifting vintage they have really cool stuff and then uh also claire vivier 
purses, oh, yeah. bags. Her stuff is so good. And she's a friend of mine. She's a mom. She's like amazing. And she has jewelry and stuff too, which is really cute. And then, um, sorry, last but not least, uh, Citizens of Humanity. Um, they're a family owned business as well. And those jeans have been around for a long time, but they're so thoughtful. They're an amazing company and um, just really good humans. So um, also like a really cool brand to support. Yeah, and I think certain like unique ideas is like in the past people have like donated to a charity that I would be aligned with and been mm-hmm. like, hey, just so you know, I chucked a hundred dollars to like Voiceless, an animal charity. Like that's yes. always a really great path Love to go that. down to. So yeah. if you're stuck for ideas, you can be like, all right, what's something that I know they're passionate about? And you can find a charity that's aligned. So that's another idea. Um, I wanted to mention three more things. Um, Okay, one of them is this new company I have discovered out of Australia. One of the co-founders is the gorgeous Elsa Pataki, who is going to come on our show, which is really exciting, and she's a new friend of mine. She is a brilliant mum and um, she is, oh God, she's an amazing mum. Like she is just one of those people who's so connected and in tune with their children but she's also this wonderful businesswoman and she's created this new company called Purely Byram so it's all these gorgeous oils and face masks clay masks that's my dream Okay, oh, it's I'm in. heaven. Hi, I'd like some of oh that. Oh my god, she will send you <laughs> so many of it. I mean, seriously, <laughs> that the is stuff my dream. is heaven, and it's like just that little bit of self care that you want to have mm, at the end yes, of the night. Yes. Um. So I got this box of all these different clays, and depending on how you feel, there's different masks, and then um, it comes with this gorgeous little ceramic mixing bowl as well mm. with this little spoon. It was so cute, such a neat idea, and it comes out of Byron Bay, which is a place where I am ultimately going to end up uh, buying a house there because <laughs> it feels very much like me. Because um, it's in your manifesting journal that you just showed it's us. <laughs> in my journal. I think it's going to be well, a 2023 purchase. Guys, um, I mean, we all know it's coming true. So, <laughs> <laughs> so purely Byron, they're doing amazing things. Cool. And um, Love Well and purely Byron, we are going to start doing some collaborations together because it's they're very like minded. So, we're oh, excited about that. that in the future. Um, So check them out. And then another one is another new friend of mine um, called Elle Ferguson. So she is, um, oh, my God, so high fashion, so cool, always looks beautiful. I bump into her at events, but she's also engaged to Susie. So Susie, who was on our podcast and did a spooky episode, her boyfriend's brother is engaged to Elle. So oh, I bump cool. into them and I know them at these events. And she, I didn't even know that this was her brand, but I've been using this stuff. This makeup artist has been using this stuff on my body and it's um like a body tan. Oh, so I'm looking at it right now. Oh, it's, it's, called, unbe- the it's called the Elle Effect. Effect. Oh, yeah, that's Elle cool. Effect. So you rub it in. It is the most golden brown a uh, beautiful color with this shimmer that makes you glow head to toe. And I'm telling you, I'm using it in the movie I'm doing at the moment, The Full Guy, because my character, she wears basically nothing. She's essentially naked. Oh, um, dear. So, <laughs> no, she wears a, not a lot, scantily dressed. And um, my makeup artist is like, oh, there's this new company. And I was like, no, 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 wait. I know the one that I need to use. I need to use this one called Elle Effect. And she was yes. like, well, that's what, that's the one I was going to tell you about. And you put <laughs> it on and it looks like new skin. Like it actually just looks like you've had a spray tan. Wow. But then it just rubs off at the end of the day. So you don't actually have to go and get the spray tan. It's just on and it is the perfect color. Oh, it's not so orange. Cool. It's not too dark. It's just the most perfect color. So I've been using it on the red carpet a lot. And um, Elle just sent me a bunch of it, so I feel like I will never run out, which is really exciting. So please go check it out. Elle Effect, I know she's thinking about putting together a little holiday bundle, so um, you can head over to her Instagram and um, check out all those goodies. Guys, I have no idea if we covered everybody. We probably left a lot of people out. One more. <laughs> oh, one more. one more. Oh, yes. Angie Benicki. This is like a <gasps> yes. really interesting okay. idea. Okay, okay, Gifting okay. Gifting someone – like a tarot card reading or gifting someone like uh, an appointment with a psychic or 
even a therapist. If you want to go down the therapy route, do that too. Or a massage. A massage, yes. But the, if the idea, didn't you just actually get this? Didn't Anna gift you yeah. a psychic? Uh, yeah. Yes. So yeah. I feel like mm-hmm. it's such a great idea to be like, hey, this is what I got you for Christmas. And Angie Banicky, I always say Banicky. Banicky. It's like from Greece. Who's the yeah, character? Is yeah, it Kaniki yeah. from Greece? Yeah, yeah, Kaniki. <laughs> That's where I got it from, I think. Angie Banicky is the best of the best of the best. And by the way, so if you great. go back and listen to the episode that we did with her, so much of what she told me about my life coming up has come true. Which is nuts. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Going back. And every time yeah. things happen, I reach out to her and I was like, you were right. Anyway, so she <laughs> she is amazing. And we really Amazing. recommend um, booking in a session with her. That would be such a great gift. Yeah, that's a really cool, really fun gift. Um, I feel like we could do this uh, like on and on and on forever, talking <laughs> about all of our favorite people who have brands and all of our favorite oh brands and just like it's things. It's been an that... hour. An hour, I know, Sarah. I know. And thank you uh, so much to Jenny for joining us and for doing this in such an unconventional way because <laughs> um, because we just couldn't figure out how to make it all happen timing-wise. But um, we just love her so much and she's, oh, she's amazing. hysterical. So um, thank you, thank you. And she has so many amazing books. There's four books out. So, you know, check out all of her stuff. Um, but thank you guys for joining us for the gift guide. Guide and uh, enjoy Happy the holiday. Enjoy the ho ho holidays. Um, uh, the elves are going nuts in our house right now. I can't wait to see what they're doing tomorrow. <laughs> you, you. <laughs> um, uh, all of your elf. If you have an elf on the shelf, um, oh gosh, then- they get messy. They get they crazy. get messy. I know they're very naughty in my they home. Get really funky. Yeah. Um. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, you can find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. See you later. Bye, Daisy. Bye.